Hello, everybody, and welcome to the week 11 update uh, for the GoTanks account. So we are 11 weeks in at this point. Uh, today is March 17th, 2024. So it's St. Patrick's Day 2024. I am level 81. Uh, got Phoenix running in arena right now. Still running the Mace Fleet 70. Not really stretching too much on that. Almost 800,000 GP. I am level 81 and uh, I'm getting kind of close to 82. So that's going to be a nice little stepping stone there. Um, I mean to click there. But one thing that did open up, there's not a ton of milestones uh, from like level gates or anything recently, but uh, I can do the last wave of these challenges and that is a nice little boost in rewards to start getting this med pack thing i haven't done it too many times and then you get more of each uh gear piece and that really helps for things like carbontes and such uh i have a as you can tell from the length of the video i have a lot of footage throughout the week uh, so i'm just gonna try and do the overview of my account and upgrades uh what i'm doing right now um all the beginning and then go cyclically through all that footage throughout the week uh, so to start, let's look at the farms. I am getting really, really close to finishing Anakin. Excited about that. I finished Hera. I finished Chopper um, recently. And Chopper was a, a key piece to getting the Seven Star Palpatine and Thrawn, which was show that in the, this week. Uh, so I moved up Zalbar here, and I was talking last week how I was just feeling antsy not farming him because it takes a long time to get to the end, and I wanted to be ready for a Giant Air Revan sooner rather than later. Uh, I feel good. He's in the main uh, rotation. Anakin's going to get cycled out soon, so I can add someone else. Uh, but I've got 39 out of 85 on the on Mando. I don't have Grief in here anymore because every once in a while I hit his fleet node, and it's like I'm going to have to farm the Rebel Y-Wing anyway. I don't know. Not in a huge hurry. Until I start getting Bosk closer to 7 stars, I don't have a huge, enormous need for Grief Karga at 7 stars faster. I added Hunter up to the top. Uh, so the only one at the bottom that's still kind of like paused is Tech. And that's just because he was ahead of Hunter. Uh, Wrecker is moving way along. And if you notice, I started gearing up the Bad Batch because I'll look at ships in a little bit. I'm getting very close to the Marauder. Also farming Boosh, trying to get her to five stars. Um, I don't know if I'll, like after five stars, I'm definitely gonna stop farming her for now. Uh, but I do have Rebel Roundup footage. And I don't know if she's going to help at five stars or not. Um, Jolie's 11 out of 85. Bastila 63 out of 85. Just and if I finish any of these farms, it's going to be huge. I can just start working on other things. It's just it's just great when that happens. Um, Cantina Energy uh, still farming Stormtrooper Han. Also cycling in Old Ben and Luke, Farm Boy Luke for the CLS. Uh, Geos are kind of paused for now. Uh, once I hit level 83 and start farming Geo Brood Alpha. And I'm going to start working them up in unison. Try to get all of them seven stars. Uh, currency. Still hit Newt Gunray. He's almost ready to go seven star. I haven't upgraded him yet just because I'm trying to save credits. Uh, I'm getting to a point where credits and training droids are pretty balanced. Boba Fett. Um, going to, going like kind of back and forth between Stormtrooper Han and Boba Fett. And then Obi-Wan and Luke um, are for like the guild currency too. Like Mark 1 raid currency. And old Ben's getting along too. Uh, so that's how the general farming is going. Um, as far as what I favorite, it depends. I had Yoda favorited recently to get him up and ready as far as I could for ground war. And he's gear 10 and I got, I talked about it uh, before the ground war, but it was important to get Master Stroke to its Omega so he gets the bonus turn. That's a real key difference there. Vader, level 81 and gear 10. Gear 10 is nice to see. Um, and I, I have more gear 10 now than than ever of course on this account uh but like the gearing is way faster drawing back on my experience from 2019 on my original free play account um from this wave of playing uh gearing up is a lot faster starring is a lot faster because it's accelerated even though i was getting number two in fleet arena back then um like the doubling of everything is better than getting a few extra refreshes so things accelerate move along at a very accelerated pace so just anakin as the only gear 11 um most are level gated others it's like just there's a lot of gear to go around a lot of carbontes needed a lot of mouths to feed in that sense 
Uh, but I have, what, nine? Gear 10? That's kind of crazy. Chopper's recent addition. Palpatine as well. Uh, Cam Rex, I just got to gear nine, and I was actually very pleasantly surprised because I could have sworn I looked at his gear chart at one point and saw Chirotech at gear I needed to get to gear 10, uh, which is which is not uncommon. I mean, some people are Cairo gated at gear eight. Uh, so the fact that I will be able to get him to gear 10 without Kairos is fantastic. And one of the biggest things you get from increasing a gear level is you get uh, more protection. Protection is not a stat that's in like this. You can get health and stuff through that. Protection is an arbitrary number from getting another gear level. And Rex is a support, but he has tons of protection. So like he jumped up from like under 20k to 30k protection. And I have protection mods on him too, but uh, that, that's going to be really nice. It's going to be really, really durable. A Kenobi I haven't worked on a while. Django Fett I got up to gear 9, and that's kind of where he was at for um, Rebel Roundup. Kylo Ren Mass pretty much benched at this point. Like, his ship is not going to be impactful for things. Uh, there is the question of getting a 6-star Executrix, and I'll need him a little bit stronger for that, but that's not as big of an issue as getting the 5-star Executrix. Um, and a lot of this is kind of old news. Zeb, he's not going to get developed anymore. He's pretty much where he's going to stay. Uh, unless it's really, it would really help a big deal, a big, a large amount in like Secrets and Shadows or something, because I have Thrawn and Palpatine at 7 star, as you see here. Uh, so uh, I already mentioned we have footage of that. And then down here, we're getting towards people that haven't been upgraded in a while. Although I am going to have to start thinking about gearing uh, CLF stuff soon. But like I said in my free play farming guide, um, and I stick by it, it makes sense. I really don't need to rush that until I'm getting closer to Chewbacca. Because um, until Chewbacca, you don't really have the core team in place. I do have Han, so that's something uh, like Raid Han like true Han Solo uh, but it's not a super rush and I gotta wait until Darth Vader to get a 7 star R2-D2 these guys are coming along just fine and then you need gear 7 on you can get away with gear 7 on some of them then gear 8, gear 9 as a general rule uh, so that's all my character progress almost 800k um, I would love to get to a billion before level 85 don't know if it'll happen it's not super important but uh, it would be pretty cool, and I definitely think that's attainable. Uh, as far as ships, uh, you're going to see less and less change week to week because it's hard to level up, and, you know, ship farming is slow. Uh, I'm getting there with Embar and Starfighter. Someone said, oh, you should keep farming as Node because you're going to have to use fleet currency to get them, and I'm like, that's the whole point. I'm fine with using fleet currency. Uh, that's a great use of it. So that and Galactic War Store, I'm fine with using fleet currency on a good ship. TIE Fighter 7 starred, uh, so that's nice. Anakin, such a slow arm, 23 out of 65, 6 out of 65 on the Y-Wing. This thing, it's like hard to see because I, I look at the Y-Wing on my main account. It's 7 stars and level 85, obviously, but it's so much better than this one. Um, level 81, so it's the highest level it can be, and it still barely has any protection. It, it's getting there. It's getting around to it, um, but I think... I'm really going to have to get the level 85, level everything up. Uh, and get, like, I don't think it'll seem that strong until I get to, like, six stars at least or something. Uh, Slave 1 is unlocked. It's helping get the Contraband Cargo event, which is really nice. Takes Dark Lighter ship, farming that, uh, hopefully for Chimera at some point. Getting closer with Phantom and Ghost Story 5 star. But I'm going to need to develop them a good bit more. Um because I don't have a good Admiral Akbar either. I might need to gear him up some. And it's just not a huge priority. Like, what do I get from this right now? I'm not in Grand Arena. Uh, when I when I start getting around to Grand Arena, I will probably try to accelerate that and get that as a second fleet, because uh, it's kind of the best generic fleet. Um, I, I've gotten through, like, the three-star version of it. But, uh, yeah, I am Marauder. So Houndstooth is coming along just from farming Django. Almost unlocked TIE Advanced, awesome ship. We're getting really close to TIE Defender too, which is gonna be crazy. Uh, that's why I'm, I'm gonna want Chimera and run a full uh, Empire team. Of course, I have that in the reinforcements. Uh, where's Marauder? I I looked over it, okay. 
68 out of 80. So that could be... It would be a stretch to get it done in one week, but two weeks from now, probably going to have it. So that's why I'm gearing these guys up. And they're not. I'm not going to be able to compete in the arena, in the fleet arena, for until I'm at least level 85 and have some relics. And even then, it's going to be a stretch because... I'll probably have like a five star Anakin by then, and it's just, it takes a while. So, got a long road ahead of, ahead of me on ships. It's very important, uh, but I gotta know when it's gonna take time, and it is right now. Uh, so, that's most of the account updates. Uh, let's start getting into uh, footage from the week, starting with Rebel Roundup. All right, time for Rebel Roundup, take two. Uh, today is March 13th, uh, so I'm like, I don't know, what, 73, 74 days in, uh, in the middle of week 11. I really want to clear this, because all these first time bonuses, I'll get some of the Phoenix that I don't have finished. I'm kind of like letting them finish out slowly, or I didn't want to farm excess shards so that this would get me up there. Um, I do have, these five at gear eight, last time I said, I think I could do this if they were at gear eight. I don't know if you hear Gus Pitter pattering around, he's walking around looking at me. He's like, why are you talking to yourself? Um, but the challenge here is gonna be keeping Boosh alive. I mean, she doesn't have a uh, bounty hunter's resolve like the others, uh, so she doesn't have an extra life, uh, but I can keep her kind of healed up with grief. And then Mando has um, a lot of health steal in his leadership. I'm using this just cause it's, it scales pretty well at a low level. I mean, extra speed, tenacity, crit chance. The crit chance especially, we don't have much crit chance uh, to begin with at gear eight. So uh, Django is the one I've been working on the most. And I can't attempt the five star yet just because Boosh isn't five star. Everyone else is five star. I'm trying to level up the abilities as much as I can. You see there's like threes, four, some sevens on particularly important ones like uh, Grief, Cargus, Grief Cargus Heal, the... The leadership and so forth so let's give it a shot um and the ch real challenge is at the end uh, the last wave we need to probably annihilate uh what's their face that's Rolo at the start. Yes, uh, let's do this. Okay, killed him with the AoE. Do this. I think I killed Troops. That nice. Yeah, we're trying to stack this buff as much as we can. Okay, got him. He got both hits, so that took care of him. Um, and farm, you, what you want to do is kind of farm that buff on these Scarecrow Pathfinders, if possible. Let's heal up. Let's see if they have a buff, they're going to come back. Now we're getting all these counters. Um, let me just take it out. Phase, uh, I don't want to kill them, I want them to have a buff. Okay, well, some of those buffs. I got two on Bobo, one there, one, one. Okay. And I don't, I'm not gonna kill anyone here, but I want to get through my cooldowns. Uh, same thing here. Almost there. Oh. Close. I'm just gonna do it. I I mean I love when they're hitting the ones with bounty hunters resolve. Uh. Dang it. 
<laughs> uh, I'm not successfully farming on these guys. So I don't have buffs and they're too slow. So this one. Let's give me. Good, got a kill. Might get a kill. No. Just one extra damage. There we go, got a kill. Oh, I'm fine if you uh, use that thing. No, 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 no. For your counterattacks. I don't have the... It's going well. Well. No, don't feel boosh. Ah, come on. So much for three star. Now just kill. I want to take less hits. Okay. Looks like they make the health. Going into the next wave. Ability. There's only so much of the time. Okay, we want them healed up as much as we can. 
Mando is gonna be up, but he's not gonna have the crit chance up. Oh, that does give him crit chance up. Okay, cool. Perfect then. I thought I'd protect stuff on her. Oh no, she's dying now. Nice. Okay, we got it. Just uh, not. Uh, not three stars I was over for. That's a long one, and it's hard. Uh, if we had boss, it'd be pretty smooth. Uh, so didn't quite finish off... Oh, she's really far away. Didn't quite finish off Hera. I was hoping for a 20 drop there, but I got the 20 on uh, Zeb and Jin. And Chopper's a little close, too. Well, my crit's pretty good, and I do care about these ships, so... I guess I got a double drop on this one. Yeah. Ah, it's a rebel round of tier one. Wish I could attempt tier two. I think it... it... Wait, what? Oh, maybe I can do it and just let Moff Gideon die. Yeah, I forgot uh, Imperial Troopers <clears throat> can do this too, so obviously you could do a mixed squad. Uh, maybe these guys will be a little bit too strong, I don't know. We will see. Tango has plus 50% health as part of an ability, so that's why he has like a better health bar than everyone else. Even though they're all at gear. Eight. Dang it. Uh, we're... Kinda hairy. to you. Oh. Else oh nice. Uh we need a medic. I need a rocket in here. There we go, just what the doctor ordered. Oh, don't die like that. Well, 
got through one wave. I don't know. Uh, in the replicate, they all get their bounty hunters resolved back, which is great. Uh, let me take out the big guy. That's too much damage out there. Ready for a, a culling. Kill Boba. No, not Boba. Oh, I can't do this all way without him. I'll let you know if I get past this point. Alright, so I'm basically back to where I was. <laughs> Let's see if get past this. I have so far most of the first thing on Boba and Mando, although Mando is looking rough. Ah, yeah, I don't know. I think I, I don't think I'd be able to like it I'm having this much trouble getting through wave two, so I think I'll stop there. It'll have to be next month I try to clear this one. Yeah, I didn't get as far in Rebel Roundup as I would have liked, but I'm really glad I did get at least get through uh wave one. Uh that got me some good rewards and most importantly Phoenix shards, which helped finish these guys off. I got the kind of the old school core five uh, up to seven stars, and that led into unlock of Palpatine and Admiral Thrawn. Thrawn was pretty scary and pretty challenging, so I'll just tell you that right now, but let's look at that footage. And it is time for another milestone on the Gotenks account. I have enough shards to get Chopper to 7 star. I, if I had been consistently working on him, I could have gotten there way earlier, uh, but I just kind of put it off um, until I got hair to 7 star, which I did earlier this week. Uh, today is Saturday, March 16th, so towards the end of week 11. Um, and yeah, I've been using Palpatine for a while, but I will get a 7-star one, and hopefully Thrawn. Um, Thrawn is tougher. Last time I did it, I remember I did it at level 82, but I did have less gear, because I do have good gear. I have a gear 10 on Kanan, like back 2019 when I did that, I had all gear 8, so... Oh, uh, let's do it. I'll put Kane in the... No, I did put lead here in the... Okay. Let's go. This one should be quick and easy, nice and painless. Then Thrawn will be a little bit more of a challenge. I think this one's easy. A merciless massacre, I'm pretty sure. So, they went above half health. And yeah, uh, procs their taunt again. Don't stun us. Oh, this might be. This is like pre reworked Palpatine. But he's not passively doing a bunch of damage to us. This one, I just need to kill these stupid royal guards. They're haunting whenever I start going to pal. Bobbing above half health, so get out of here. I hate. It sucks to not have, like, Captain Rex here, though. It's just not. Uh, so much faster. I would have hit auto and just zipped past him. He takes forever to seven star. Here we go. Seven star Palpatine. Let's just star him up and then go on to Thrawn. Let's take a minute to 
ability this. Stat bonuses aren't too much, so it will affect health. Damage, so 1838, 17,000. I've got my pop up here 10. He's, he's coming along. Yeah, it's like not, not a huge difference in stats. It's just like a gate. But it looks like I got an achievement. Ooh, Vader shards. This is, I actually need Vader shards. Uh, even if I get Thrawn to 7 star, I don't have Darth Vader to 7 star for R2D2. Um, so yeah, that'll take some time. And I don't have all of CLS's. Uh, guys ready, but they're getting there. They're really getting close. Uh, and then R2D2 probably won't be the last piece. He'll probably be, I'll probably get him before some of the others. And then let's do Thrawn. I have two journey guides completely done. And now this other one, um, fortunately it's a bunch of waves, which I hate. I'll just auto until like wave three and then try to have my stuff off cooldown. Uh, I should show my mods. I'll show them after this. I don't, e I don't even know what my mods are. Every, everyone's got either a speed set and a health set or a bunch of health sets. Um, but the good thing, like, I'm not using Zeb in my normal anywhere else with Captain Rex. Uh, can't talk. I'm not using Zeb with Captain Rex anywhere else. Uh, but what's nice about here is he's got all the protection recovery. So even though I'm autoing, I'm going to be, like, going through with full protection until... Uh, the end, take a little bit of damage, then we'll just heal. Oh, uh, yeah, they're pretty hard. Uh, and Rex, I mean, is good for assists and like dazes and stuff, but Ezra is really good for damage. A special. Oh, come on. So don't want to auto here. I could do auto basic. Do auto basic, but I want to try to possible adjust the turn meter. So we all have high turn here when we get in there. Slow down. Oh, good. Oh, that's some Terminator. Take it. Uh, I think K Kanan, I think, is up next, so maybe I can get a taunt up. Hey, Zane. I think that's the name of the actor that plays him. Um. Ooh, stop! Good. Year 10 Canaan, so that's really what I'm kind of hanging on to here. I would like to get backup plan on him, but my Hera is fractured. Now she's not. One's telling everyone, let's get her a turn. Ah! Uh. Kill my hair out, or my. What the heck? Ah, okay, there we go. I, let me kill something! There! Finally! Okay, your friction devs. Absolute burst. 
pretty sure we have to kill Brawn last. He's just really hard to kill. Okay. Come along here. I'm taking. Ah, oh, I need everyone to heal. Nothing, he's gonna. Okay, he didn't fracture someone yet. He's gonna kill someone next time he fractures. Okay, well, we got our, our good tank taunting again. It's it's working. Hey, I think we're, we're getting there. Yeah, I think so. What is the most fragile? I I am now feeling pretty good about it. Mm -hmm. 10 Kanan. Double taunts. Yeah, this is gonna be like a three star of it too. Last time I did it, I had like eight level 82. I think I put Chopper's Omega on because I didn't want to gear them up because they need... Oh, we're not gonna three star. Oh, all these counters. Yeah, this is the the issue because he like rips us to shreds. Come on, days. Dang it. Pawns down? No. No. Oh, what are we not gonna get it? I need a taunt from. Oh. <laughs> yes, come on, protect us, Kanan. Does he get more damage when everyone's dead? Exposed, come on. I was like, oh, I got it. I got it. This is easy, too. Oh, crap. I have to do it again. Awesome. That's a, This is a hard one. I mean, I knew it was going to be. In the guide, I put, like, Rex. is like, oh, this is what you want to unlock Thrawn. Because it is hard, but it would just take forever. That is two legendaries to seven star right now. Um, and if when I get to Darth, Darth Vader to seven star, then I can get R2-D2. Um, before I forget, let's show the mods on Phoenix. So Hera, 18,000, 14,000, 190. Doesn't 122. Rex, you didn't, you played no part. Ezra, 15,000, 12,000, 201. Great damage triangle and 2100 offense. Okay, then this was the big help. It's gear 10, 38,000 protection, 29,000 health. He was, he was bulky. Without all that, without all that bulk, it's gonna be a problem. Chopper 18, 18, 213. He's naturally pretty fast. Oh, barely any extra offense. Then Zeb, uh, probably the most neglected. 53 speed, 17k, 11k, 1.79. Nice. Um, yeah, where is Mr. Thrawn? I still need to get him up next gear level. Oh, I can do that. I have enough Carbontes. He's been stuck at gear 7 forever because he needs... Who needs 100 Carbontes to get from gear 7 to gear 8? That's just cruel when they make a character require that to go to gear 8. Like, gear 8 is supposed to be the easier one. 
tons of that. Got a decent supply of that. What else does he need? That. Give me too bad. That's annoying. And that's annoying. I I want I, I I have less of a problem with trading droids right now, but I can easily use all of them up if I choose. Yeah, so there we go. Seven star Palpatine and seven star Thrawn unlocked at the same time. This guy is really useful. I actually got to the next crate in a galactic challenge because I had Thrawn and I just fra it was the mall one. I just fractured uh, the healthiest. They couldn't taunt and it was great. Yeah, nice. Ooh, I was just about to uh, do this ground war, but I saw like after, since I unlocked Palpatine seven star, I can try this mythic. I don't know if I can win it. Um, use Rebels, so I'll use the same team I was using. That That's crazy that ha this happened the same day I unlocked Palpatine seven star. I have a feeling I, I won't be able to do it. Um, Actually, maybe not. They're not hitting too hard. Um, I learned that I just need to hit the guards. This would be great. This would give me some mods. Some no stuns. This one's easy. Or like the first one they made. Nice. Mods out of this. And I don't know if I can do the other tier yet either. Oh, I just get one. Yeah. Well, credits are credits. And oh, you just need any seven star characters. That's right. So that's bad here. Oh, the Jedi approach. Yeah. It might be actually hard. I don't know. No, they're not doing much damage. Sign that's the upper number. That all the shatter point whenever possible. Take some of those. Yoda is a beast. Vader. Nice, that's awesome. Extra rewards are always always sound good to me. He's have speed on the mod. The last one did. Awesome. Yeah, great. That is fantastic. That was pretty great. Pride of the Empire, indeed. Palpatine and Thrawn, seven stars. Really nice to have that under my belt. Thrawn, like I said, just super useful utility player. Um, and then once I get Darth Vader, seven stars, you better believe I'm getting that R2-D2. Not that I'll be able to unlock CLS right away, but just another legendary seven stars. And I have three seven stars right now. Feels pretty good. It feels like a little bit of a snowball. 
Um, and yeah, it's just nice to have it behind me, and I can soon. I'm. I think my next Zeta, I'm gonna make Palpatine, because uh, it unlocks at level 82. I'd love to do Vader, but that's level 84. So, and that is weak. So I'd probably be able to get Merciless Massacre after I get Emperor of the Galactic Empire. I just think like, it's such a cool name too, Emperor of the Galactic Empire. <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, but yeah, really stoked about that, and then as I showed when the Mythic event popped up, I was about to do Ground War, and let's check that out. It was, I, I almost wanted to record it, I'd just do it on my own and not record it, but I do want to have this footage out there, because uh, if any player scouring the, scouring YouTube or the internet, a newer player just trying to see how Ground War actually works at the lower levels, it's nice to have it out there. So here we go, Ground War, seven star tier. And now it is time to complete the seven star ground war. Uh, I still don't have my choice that I leader in Bastila, but I do have Mace, who's pretty good. And one upgrade I made sure to get. I didn't have to upgrade at anything too much targeted. But this is just a complete switch flipped. Uh, once you get the Omega on this ability, like uh, before, it's kind of like a sacrifice to use it. It's like, eh, this doesn't do too much. He'll still buffs, but he might lose him before his next turn. Now I get a bonus turn with Yoda, so, and that really, really, really comes into play in this um, Assault Battle, as you'll see. Uh, let me just show some mods, because I'm always forgetting that. 19. Um, let's do it. Kind of quick. Because Yoda's at gear 10, Ace is at gear 10, Ahsoka's at gear 10, and... Blows at gear 10, like so we just got a lot of gear 10s out here, and then Ezra's 9, but he's he's a good utility player. I'd rather have him for damage and utility than Hanan. Uh, so don't, we don't need to soak up as many hits here. We need to go on the offensive, and Mace is doing a lot of the hunting for us. The annoying thing beginning is these guys are really fast, or I think it's their fast. I don't know if it's like Kermit or anything. Uh, but yeah, we still like take advantage of those event buffs. Yoda. And at that free turn, Yoda is insane in this assault battle. Cycles through turns like crazy. Um, and here is where it matters. So we're gonna get. Yeah, a shield and be able to spread it. So I do that, then I do this. Because when you steal the last few turns, and then you get all these buffs, and you spread them around. I don't have the Zeta, so I don't get forced like that. That is fine. And we're going to be doing that multiple times throughout this battle. Uh, especially in the more difficult ones. And at the end, it's going to be a thing. Um, B2s are most annoying, but uh, B1s do more damage. Mess that up. Oh. Now I'm doing like big boy damage. That's a count. Uh, I'm just I'm saving close turn meter for when it's actually really helpful. Heavy Omega on Mace's first special, so he gains turn meter when he uses on someone with Shatter Point. I'm not gonna do it yet. I'll save it because this guy's dead to rights here. I don't think he comes back. That was a rework thing, so yeah. And this predates his rework. Um, that the turn meter? And here's where we just steal his buffs. I think I lost foresight. They just lose it all. Yeah. Not 
think we're just fine. Just chopping through the last one standing. I forget what the mechanism is, but I think we recover protections. Uh, is it from Ahsoka? I didn't need to do that. I think it'll be fine. I, I have my bonus turn. I could use that, and I could use that, and then I used Force It just... This Assault Battle feels designed for Yoda. I don't know. Deck order, everything happened. I should have read it. I think I was just worried about B2. Ezra to die in a week. Oh, big hits, man. Well, Goon's hitting hard, too. That's crazy. Yeah, so here's where it's optimal completely. We get all that stuff. Just want to stop B2. Oh, jerk. Oh. Gotta have buff in me. Uh, yeah, I probably could have used it earlier at this point. Um, I don't want to save it for the final round. Because Dooku is the challenge at the end. Oh, so what do we have going into this? Hmm. Ace. Not gonna attack you. Oh, oh. Uh, so... If I jump and take it now, Dugu just counters and stuns. Ability blocks, so uh, that's... I want offense up, or tenacity up. Don't stun me. Good. Go. We have everything. Exactly what I needed. And let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Oh no, I should have used her to dispel things. I don't know, we got one there. Time count. Some assistance. I love Shatterpoint, it is so handy. Can 
you have access to it so early in the game, it's just been such a constant help. Almost there. And we did it. Three star two, so I don't have to come back to that. Um, Mythic tier is technically open? I don't know. I can swing that. Uh, this one gives a lot of mods, so hopefully some of them start with speed. Fun. And all these shards, including Grievous, I have not bought his, sh his shipments at all, but... Uh, Geos are gonna be coming handy. Once I hit level 83, better believe I'm farming Geo Brood Alpha. Nice. Okay, so for this one, it recommends uh, gear level 11. This is recommending gear 12 and Zetas. Um, let me just test the waters. I It might just destroy me, but... I feel much better once I have Bastila 7 stars. Yeah, okay, there... Maybe I can do it, I don't know. Um, that would be good. Republic enemy number one. You take away all these goodies we have. Uh, these guys, I think this is where it falls apart, actually. Yeah, that, they just... They roll you. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. That, this one's a little bit past me. Maybe once I get Giant Air Revan, it'll be easy. But yeah, I am happy with three tiers. Uh, this is... First, third tier of an assault battle I've gotten on this account, so I'm happy with that. That was ground war, and another type of ground war is territory war. Uh, I kind of wish they would change this up, like even if just a change of scenery, like this has been the same planet forever. Jakku. Um, but this is a territory war we won. Um, it's my third ever territory win in the Gotenks Guild in Book of Bobble Fat. Uh, so this one was a win, the second one of the week. And the first one of the week, we got Trounce. So I just had a little bit of a peer in from each level. The first one just showing how we're kind of stuck uh, sometimes. Uh, and the second one where I actually got two wins. Uh, so let's check that out. And I also wanted to show a look at what RTWs look like in this guild. And uh, to sum it up, briefly, they do not look pretty. This guild ran us through over here. We got... We have like a bunch of gear 11s, gear 12s, even on our front wall, and then our opponents always have something that completely stops us. We just lose. I just want to be in the 170 million bracket. We haven't gotten to that yet because not enough people join. I even tag people that don't join and battles for this. And I mean, I can't complain too much because I don't really like contribute at all in this, but uh, our opponents always set like enough GLs in the front. I mean, we've won twice since I've been here. Like, that's it. They set enough GLs in the front where you just can't get by. Well, you don't get by them. We don't get by the front wall. So it's kind of it's kind of a stress-free thing for me because I know we're gonna lose. Yeah. Um, I'm in TW and uh, they blocked off the bottom, but I am going to take advantage of a couple teams I can actually beat here as. Uh, Probably not Phoenix with the Omicron, but I can take on, and probably not the Relics either. I can take on this Phoenix. So I could do a Phoenix versus Phoenix. And, cause like I, 
if I set my phoenix. Never mind. Okay. I'll do Jedi. Oh, uh, because I rarely get to do anything in TW. That makes sense. Um, I guess I'll leave Mace out. Yeah, so probably fine. Um, because it's like <laughs> you don't need too many teams <laughs> in the lower bracket, so and people do have the Zetas, so they just put Zeta not Zeta's relic here, relic team, so they just use that for everything. Taking some time to hack through. I don't want to do that, because that will... Take a turn. I would get everyone counterattack this out, so that's what I was going to say. Stupid, uh, back up plan. Had Rex on this team, better believe I'm not gonna do it. Through him. Can help myself sad there. Pull it. On. Oh, harder than I expected. I guess I am still under geared compared to them. And it's annoying to kill, so I'll take out the other attacker. I'm training my mates. Oh, perfect. The buff immunity. Got it done. And I can do one more. I, yeah, I just rarely get to do any attacks at TW. This one is pretty. <laughs> I, I don't know why I got set. Uh, I guess I don't even need to really filter. Empire stuff. Parking that. Alrighty, Rue. Seriously, I've like won two or three territory matches or uh, battles in territory war, like the entire life cycle of the Go Tanks account. There we go. 40 banners for go tanks. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know if I'll show like... Oh, I could probably like give an update in the next video. I don't know what I'm going to do then. But uh, probably give an update if we won this one or not. I'm going to wrap it up for this one. Um, my closing remarks are... I know I've gone over a lot today. My closing remarks are I am getting really tired of Galactic Core. It's easy. I auto it. Ready for level 85, so I can just sim it, never look back at my daily done in five minutes, and it's gonna be glorious. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching this uh, Go Tanks Free to Play Week 11 update. Hopefully, we have a lot more good stuff for you next week as well. I appreciate everyone that follows along and, and says this uh, series helps them. I always love hearing that, so thanks to you guys as well, and I'll see you later. Bye.